Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue. I'm the Black Powder Editor for Guns of the Old West Magazine. And today we're going to be talking about the 1873 trapdoor uh, carbine. And this gun was not a new design in 1873. In fact, the design goes back to 1866. And the reason it came about uh, was a situation that most of the world's armies faced. After the Civil War for the United States, it was obvious that cartridge guns were the way to go. Uh, the Henry rifle, the Spencer rifle during the war really showed that the self-contained metal cartridge like this guy was the way to go. So, countries uh, rapidly started rearming. And the United States, of course, had just fought the Civil War, and they had a huge stock of Civil War muzzle-loading muskets, which, of course, looked a lot like this. And they didn't have a lot of money because the war had put them into debt. So they needed to get cartridge guns on the cheap, and they didn't want to waste their investment in all of those muzzle-loading guns. So what they did is they developed something at the Springfield uh, Armory called the Allen Conversion, which was named after the, uh, the director of the Armory. And the Allen Conversion basically cut the back end off of a Civil War musket and fitted it with one of these trapdoor breech blocks that you could load a cartridge into. Now what they did with, uh, with those guns is they sleeved them so that instead of being 58 caliber muskets, they were now 50 caliber rifles, or 5070 cartridge. And those were in until this rifle came out in 1873. And the main difference of this rifle was the cartridge, the 4570 cartridge. And they made some other, some other improvements. But uh, coming down to a 45 caliber bore, they had decided that was the way to go. You know, when you're in a battle, you really can't afford to take a leisurely amount of time reloading these single shot rifles. And, and one of the very common ways guys had of getting faster reloads was to tuck the cartridges into their fingers, just like this. So I'm gonna fire off three rounds and we'll see what this thing will do. Not bad. Now, I really like these. Uh, they have a lot of history associated with them. Uh, Custer's folks used them. They used them in the Red River War, also known as the Buffalo War. Uh, and while a lot of European countries face the same problem, and Britain, in fact, did the Snyder rifle, which is very much like this, except the trapdoor swings sideways instead of swinging out, uh, for the same reason, to modify their uh, 58 caliber Enfield muzzleloaders. But most other countries, within five or six years, 10 years at the most, had abandoned the stopgap systems and had developed brand new cartridge arms. But the United States, we kept up with these guys for 30 years before we went to the 3040 Craig. Uh, so for a long time, we were using these single shot uh, rifles during the Indian Wars. Uh, so this saw a lot of action, and it's definitely one of my favorite 4570 guns ever. I really enjoy shooting it. And, and the way it works is pretty simple. There's several positions of the hammer. There's a safety notch, a half cock notch, and on the half cock, there's a little lever right here. You throw that, and that flips open the breech block. And then you can insert your 4570 cartridge. Close it up, and you're ready to go. Just pull the hammer back all the way and give it a whack. Now this, this cartridge that's in here, by the way, is a dummy. Uh, has no powder, no primer, it has a piece of rubber installed. And then to eject, put it on half cock, right? Lift uh, that little lever up again, flip the breech block up, and it kicks around out. And as I said, safe, just a piece of rubber back there. So that's how it operates. 
let's see what it'll do. Those two liter bottles we were shooting, they were about 25 yards out. So now we've got an Evil Roy target set up at 60 yards and let's see how we do on that. There we go. Now this gun has a fairly weak ejector. Uh, I've owned two original trapdoors and they kick them right out. But this one just barely gets them out of there. I know it would have been easier to see the bullet strikes on a freshly painted target. But unfortunately it was 15 degrees out and the paint would have frozen instead of drying. So when it warms up, we'll give you some prettier targets. This one's made by Pedersoli in Italy, and uh, it's imported by Taylor's and Company in Winchester, Virginia. bad guy's view of the trapdoor Springfield. 